we've never done anything like this before, so uh, I don't know. This could go really bad <laughs> or really awesome, so let's find out. So we are on our way home from North Carolina. We actually had to sleep at a Walmart last night because we didn't make it to Nashville. We got too tired. And we are still tired. And we looked up a rest stop and when we got there it was closed. So we just stopped at Walmart, didn't sleep very good, but we got some rest. And now we are making a special stop for one of our awesome subscribers. She doesn't even know it's happening right now. Yeah, her husband put this together for her and you know he reached out to us and we are very excited to go and meet her and surprise her. So let's see how this goes, you guys. Your destination is on the left. So we have arrived. We have. This is gonna be interesting. Are you filming? Yep. We've never done anything like this before, so uh I don't know. This could go really bad. <laughs> or really awesome, so let's find out. The inner car? <laughs> Hello. He set this up. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I don't believe you. <laughs> We've never done anything like this before. Yeah, we want to come say hi. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. We're real. <laughs> I can't believe you. That's hilarious. That's hilarious, man. No, no. Sweetie. Hi. <laughs> man, I don't want to be weird like I. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect this, huh? Nope. Well, it's, it's hard to fool her, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's pretty sharp. Yeah, I was like, I wonder what she's doing in the car. Yeah. <laughs> she's probably like, what she just got a new car. Oh, okay. <laughs> she thinks we're going to the financial advisor to sign paperwork. <laughs> oh. I can't believe this. Yeah. You got fib too. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, honestly, for someone not to know you guys, I feel like there's, you know, I, I love watching. You. I don't know why. I just love watching you guys because. I feel like, you know, there's a chance for young people, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, <clears throat> and it makes me feel so happy, y'all are so, you're so funny. Yeah. You're so awesome in your love for your family. Absolutely. It's nice so beautiful, part. and it just warms my heart so much to know, like. There's still people like that. Come yeah. in. <laughs> I know y'all are. Yeah. I know y'all are. Guys, we are at Linda and Nick's house right now. We surprised them and it was a lot of fun. We ended up eating dinner here and then, or actually we ate lunch when we got here. They were super nice. And then we went and had dinner with them and we stayed the night. We spent the night at their house and it's the next day. And we're gonna kind of show you around what they do at, uh, at their house. Believe me. Yeah. Well, I mean, they could all be up. cucumber. They could all be squash. Who it's knows? just one of them have a cucumber label, one of them well, have yep. a squash label. I, I, so. And they do that too. They mix them they up like that. Well, they do it. we'll see. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we just grew the boards just to try and make some birdhouse for them. Yeah. We've got to set up a year. These are mortgage lifters, and they're like 10 years old. The seeds are. So 10 years old. They may or may not grow. I'm surprised they did that good. We've so, grown hey. those here before. Oh yeah. And uh, they were thrown up in the in the yeah. This is the first room. time that we. So these haven't been grown in ten years. Jared's gonna be things. super jealous of y'all's blueberry plants because he's been oh, trying to grow berry plants and none of them are producing yet. These yeah. are a lot bigger, I think. Than yeah, that's what it is. We got them from Walmart. They were like fourteen eighty eight, but they were worth every penny. Yeah. They're gonna do really well. 
And this is potatoes. I always wanted to try and grow potatoes in a bucket. Yeah, I've seen people grow potatoes in a bucket and it keeps the, you know, the weeds out and everything. Yep. And, and then all you do, you got all your potatoes in yep, there. Yep, it's concentrated in one uh -huh. area. Yeah, normally we have a, a garden right there. But yep. Yeah, we, we, it's just too much for us now. We yeah. There's my giant air conditioner. We <laughs> yeah. We mess around. But here's where our cats are. You can see where uh -huh. our cats are. Bless their hearts. Right outside the window where they like to sit. Because that's where they sit. You know, their little kitty condo. We like our little back. Lynn deck. especially like. You built this. I built Linda built this, she guys. She built it. This is the woman. Sorry, Jaylena. She is the woman of all women. Uh, I like. I have some manly skills, you know. As far as I love to build stuff. How I long really did it take do. you to build this? I, I, it, it took a little while, mm -hmm. you know, uh, to to cut the. Uh, yeah. Edgings and stuff. Nick actually put the, the put tin the roof on. Uh -huh. uh, we left it. We didn't have a tin roof on it for a while, but I, w I wanted to be able to come out and sit out, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, enjoy it out here. And how in the world did you learn how to do that? With my brother-in-law. There you go. You yeah. know, I learned every all that from him, yeah. uh, you know, building this stuff. I built the arbor over there on the other side. Uh, I did all my gardens. I put every one of them in. This was... This was all, all like woods. that over there, mm -hmm. this woods. And when we moved here, we, we bought a lawnmower, a riding lawnmower, and Nick would go to work and he'd say, don't carry the lawnmower down that hill. Mm -hmm. I go, I won't. And as soon as he didn't even get out of the driveway, I would be going down. Yeah. Like, he would be going, <laughs> you know, and I was like a, like a bush hog, but I was using the lawnmower to kind of start clearing all this out because it was just, so thick and I knew what I wanted. I wanted the park like setting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right now, it, it, it's we got a lot of burn piles that's going on right yeah. now. But, you yeah, know, through the years, it, 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 it... It's real nice in the summer. Mm -hmm. It's just drying out now. These trees were all covered with grapevine when we moved in. Oh, wow. And we Didn't pulled them off with the pickup tree. truck. Wow. We just kept hooking <laughs> onto them and yanking them off. And we were dumping them over there before they built that house. And we had a pile of grapevine over there that was just huge. Wow. We just drag it over there, and, and when they cleared those woods, they burned everything up. Mm -hmm. yeah, they just they finally burned everything. But yeah, and the trees down there, they're all covered with grapevine. It took me like two years to get all the grapevine torn down. Yeah. Mainly pulling down with a pickup truck. That's crazy. It is, man. You would take a like a running start, and the back end of the truck would go boom, <laughs> yeah. and they would pull it down out of the tree is like you know it was big some of it was big around my leg that's crazy i've been up there 50 60 years yeah at least and so I love this out here. so this is your uh your thing where you're at all day yeah uh, yeah yeah it is i've been transplanting a lot of stuff and it's it, you know it's it's still you know in springtime i just start preparing everything getting everything ready mm -hmm. for summer you know i'll have to paint you know like a lot of this stuff Especially the pot. I'll, I'll have everything, all the flowers and stuff. I put flowers in all my pots. I'll get my decks and everything all set up, and and I'll spend the day out here, whether it be working in the garden, pulling weeds, cutting the grass, mm -hmm. or just you know sitting in the swing, just in, just yeah. enjoying cool. being outside. I, I swear I feel my most comfortable mm -hmm. is, is outside. Not around us. It. <laughs> oh, I feel very comfortable Come on. around you guys. <laughs> very, very uh, comfortable. So is that y'all's barn back there too? Yeah, That's I built that, if you can believe that. I'm, I'm going to try and finish it this year. You gonna turn that into an Airbnb so we could stay out there whenever oh, we come no, back? You have a bedroom in here. <laughs> yeah. It that, was it was comfortable. Yeah, that's supposed to be the workshop, but it, right now it's like the junk shop. It's yeah. full of junk. From the ground up, you From built it. From the ground it? up, I paid to have the slab poured. That's it's awesome. It's time to do the two faces, the front face and the back face, and get that wood out from inside. Mm. This, oh, man, I would just freak out with these trees. I know it. I know it. Let me tell you. I was going to tell you about that. We planted this tree. Wow. <laughs> we planted this tree so you can do it. I mean, yeah. You can do it. That's a crepe myrtle. We planted uh -huh. that one, but we literally planted this tree. I don't know if it grew into the the septic field. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. I mean, you need to figure out what kind it is, and you need to plant some of them. Yeah. So how long do you think this tree's been here? Oh, Lynn. Linda. How old's this tree? How long have we had this tree here? Ten years? 
It couldn't have been that big when we put it in. Uh huh. That's crazy. It's huge. It grew so fast that it grew in front of the satellite dish. <laughs> and I had to move the satellite dish. I did. I had to move the satellite dish out here. That's funny. I mean, it's just amazing at how much it's grown. It's, mm -hmm. you know, so that would be the time to, to plant. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's just an awesome tree. It's so much shade in the mm -hmm. summer. It probably saves me, I don't know, 30 Twenty dollars a month on my AC bill when mm -hmm. that sun comes up this way. In our garden, the garden started out real big, and we s slowly shrunk it down over the years mm -hmm. because you know it just gets to be too much. Yeah. And you can see where it was. Yeah. And then last year I did three rows. Year before last. And did you? Uh, do you have a tiller or anything, or you just kind of? I still got a tiller. Yeah. Yep. That's tiller cool. comes in handy when we run the ir irrigation up front. Mm -hmm. We're going to use the tiller to run the irrigation. Yeah. You turn the tines around. So that it's narrow mm -hmm. and just do through two or three passes. That's how I did the footings for that. Yeah. What's um what's the main thing you grow? Uh probably the cucumbers. Anything viney. Mm -hmm. Everything viney grows here mm -hmm. really well. Uh cucumbers, what else? Tomatoes of course. Probably yeah. more tomatoes than cucumbers actually. Mm -hmm. She loves her some tomatoes. Yeah, we have a bunch like we just do salsa. Yeah. So we do just make a bunch of salsa. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Yeah, and I take some to my mom. I used to give away so many tomatoes to the neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Because we just get too many. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, got to do something. most exciting moment of my whole entire life. Yeah. I never in my life dreamed when someone was tapping on my window that I would look and see you guys. And it was old Jason Crocker from Texas. Like, you know, it was, I just didn't believe it. Yeah. You know? a crazy experience something i n that was a first for both of us yeah we like you saw before we didn't know how this was going to go we were coming over basically just to hang out for a minute and it ended up they made us lunch as soon as we got there we were talking and then they basically said you want to go get dinner so we got dinner and then it was i know you're tired you know you don't need to drive you can stay here like they had a bed for us, you know. Oh man, they let us take over that side of the house. They had the shower and bedroom, and we watched YouTube at night. We watched uh, Jared's live video, and um, their granddaughter came over. And I mean, this was. It felt like family. It did. It was very weird because I was nervous going in, going into it, and then when we left, it was just. Y'all saw they were just waving like my parents do when we leave. It was very very weird but in the absolute best way possible. And I could truly say this is why we do what we do. And even on days that we're just like, we don't feel like, you know, YouTube and today, meeting them lets us know that there's more people out there that are good in this world. And it just made, it made, it made my week, my month, my year. That experience was just absolutely amazing. It's hard to even describe. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, you guys see in the video how comfortable everyone was with each other. And 
we didn't know what to expect. You know, sometimes meeting new people just in general, you're just like, this is awkward. I'm not sure how to keep the conversation going. But there was, there, you know, there's never a dull moment. Like, we could have talked to them and the conversation would never stop. Yeah. And, and, and mom and dad, I know you're thinking, like, why in the world would you do this? They would be y'all's best friend. They reminded me of my parents so much. It was just so natural. And I can't wait until they get to meet y'all and it's just I can't wait till we get to start doing big meetups and all of y'all get to meet them and meet each other meet everyone that's like that so I mean again this was just a crazy experience we didn't know what to expect we knew we wanted to meet you guys and there were some of y'all that said like let's go meet up here let's you know let's meet up in like you know it was more of just like a basic like let's just meet up in this city Nick wrote us an email and basically said you know, here's our address, here's a phone number. If you're tired of driving, please don't hesitate to come sleep. You know, we know this sounds weird, but we don't want y'all to sleep on the side of the highway or anything. So we decided on our own, let's show up to their house and show them how much they mean to us. And so we did it, and I don't regret that at all. Yeah, and, you know, we know Linda by name, and so she comments all the time, and she always, you know tells us a story and like we love hearing from her and we love hearing from you know a lot of our subscribers that you know do that for us and stuff so it wasn't like you know we didn't really know her because we felt like we did yeah she's she's on the facebook family group and comments all the time she sent us packages and letters and i mean it was it's strange it's so strange like this this whole life is just strange and then you know it was just as awesome for us to meet her as i'm sure it was for them to meet us and so it was an experience that we will never forget, and we left knowing that, you know, we truly felt like family, and it was absolutely amazing. So thank you, Linda and Nick, for having us. The and hospitality. For and reaching out and setting this up. and For being good people, good American down-to-earth people that have just a heart of gold, and I will never forget this weekend or week or whatever i don't even know what today is i will never forget these pat past, past few week, days yeah. yeah it's been crazy this whole trip this was the icing on the cake to end this trip but we're heading home we're going to be there unfortunately you'll see this video kind of late because we got a lot of editing and stuff to catch up on but i'm i'm speechless now it's crazy just thank you everyone for you know supporting us and following our journey and just for everything that you guys do for us yeah and hopefully at some point we can go to your house i don't know you know i don't i don't know what the future holds for us but i just hope that every time we encounter someone they're just even just half as awesome as nick and linda so i don't know stick around yeah we'll we'll see what happens we'll see what happens